Hey y'all, so I wanted to share with you the tutorial on how I'm going to make my 6x6 cherry blossom album. And this is the paper pad that I'm going to use. I got it from Hobby Lobby. It is from Prima. It has some really pretty papers in it. And what you're going to need is a paper pad. And this pad is an 8x8 pad. Okay. And you're going to need two pieces that are 6x6. Six six, and you're going to need one piece that is 2x6. Okay. Then you're going to need two pieces that are 8.5x11. Okay. So you need two of those. I've already added my score tape to one of them. I'm sorry for my squeaky chair. I'm just going to take and line them up. Okay. And I'm going to the six and a quarter mark. Sorry. I'm going to the six and a quarter mark. That way I know that this one here needs to go to the six. Okay. So when I have it pushed all the way to the top, I just let it go. Okay. And press it down. And that gives us a straight edge. Okay. And that's the reason why I like to use my scoreboard is so I can get my paper straight. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cover our chipboard here. So we're going to place our 2x6 in the middle. And I'm going to place it in the middle of my seam here. Okay, so this is my seam. So I'm going to place my 2x6 on the seam. Well, in the middle of the seam here. Okay. Then I'm going to take my two 2x6 two my two 6 by six pieces. I'm going to go about an eighth of an inch on each side. Okay, and then I'm going to glue those down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap my album, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have my album wrapped, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my closure. But I wanted to show you how to add your closure. You want to make sure that you put it on, if you use seam binding, you want to make sure you put it on before you put on your decorative paper. Okay, so this is 6 by 6 so I need to find the center of it, which will be 3. Okay, so 3 will be right here. So I just put just a little mark there, and I've already added my tape. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my seam binding. I'm going to take the edge of it here, and I'm going right here on that little mark. Okay. And I'm going to take my scissors and just trim this little piece here off. Okay, and I'm going to flip it over on this side. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I need to find my center, okay, which again will be three. All right, so I put my little mark, see my little mark here? Okay, now I'm just going to add some tape. Okay, I'm going to take my seam binding, find my little end. I'm just going to place it right there. Okay, so that's how I add my seam binding closures. Okay. Okay, so now that the album is wrapped on the outside, I went ahead and added my design paper as well as my closure. Okay. Now I need a piece to cover up this middle section here. And this is just the way that, you know, I like to do it. You don't have to cover up this middle section, but this is the way I like to do it. Okay, now I need a piece that is five and a quarter by eleven. Okay, and it's not going to cover the whole entire thing, but that's fine because I'm going to have design paper on both sides here. But I do want it to cover this middle section. Okay, so now I'm going to add this down, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we have this glue down, now what we're going to do is we're going to add our pages. But we're going to do these pages a little bit different. Okay, I'm going to, this is going to be a no hinge and top pocket page. Okay, so you need a piece that is five and three quarters by eleven. You're gonna need four of these because this album is gonna be four pages. So you need five and three quarters by eleven. You're going to score it a half, and you're gonna score it five and three quarters. Okay. So on your eleven inch side, you're gonna score it a half and score it five and three quarters. Okay. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold these down and burnish. Okay, so you have your little flap here, 
So you're going to make this page fold over. Okay? And you're just going to press that down. Okay, now, you have two ways of doing this. You can either go ahead and take this page with your little flap here. This is going to be what attaches to your book. Okay, this is what we're going to add glue to. And then we're going to add it all the way to the edge. Just like this. Okay? So, you can either go ahead and add that. And then, add glue here and here. And close it up. Or, you can add your glue first. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add my glue first. Okay, so I have four pages here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue. And I'm going to take it just to the edge of the right hand side and to the bottom. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to add my glue. And if you want to, you can use score tape or, you know, whatever adhesive you'd like to use. Okay, so I have glue on this side and here at the bottom. And I'm just going to close it up. Okay. I'm going to press everything and burnish. That way I know it's all sealed. Okay, and I'm going to do that to all four pages. And I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we have each one of them glued together, you want to make sure that your opening is at the top of each page. Okay, so I've checked all of mine. I'm going to set them to the side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add adhesive here on this little flap. Okay? So you're going to take your glue or score tape. Again, whatever adhesive you'd like to use. Okay? We're going to take it, making sure that the opening is at the top here. All right, we're going to go all the way to the side. Okay, so if you want, you can fold up your book like this so you know exactly where to go. Or you can, you know, place it down and then fold it up. Okay. But before I press all the way down, I am going to check it. And you also want to make sure that they're going to line up straight. Okay, so here we go. I'm not to the edge. And I am straight. Okay, and I'm going to press it down. All right. And we're going to flip this one over. That is page one. Okay, so now we have page one in our book. Now we're going to add another one. So you're going to take, add your adhesive. All right. And we're just going to butt it up on the back of this one. Okay. Making sure the opening is at the top again. Okay. I'm going to lay it out. Make sure it's going to be flat. And make sure it's pressed all the way against this one. Okay. You want to make sure that your pages are going to line up. Alright. And then press it down. Okay. So now, we're going to add... Another one, making sure the opening is going to be at the top again. You always want to make sure that you check it before you glue down. Just like that old saying, measure twice, cut once. You want to check two or three or four times and then glue down once. Because once you glue it down, that's it. If you're using a good glue or a good score tape... It is very, very hard to get it back up. Okay. Again, checking to make sure everything is going to be straight. Okay. And press it down. And if you want to, you can add more than four pages. All you have to do is instead of a half of an inch, instead of scoring at a half, maybe score at a quarter of an inch. You know, if you want to add more pages. All right. Now, for the last one. You're going to take, add your glue, okay, this album is only, only going to be three pages, because I forgot 
and I'm going to save this piece. Okay, so you need three pieces that are going to be five and three quarters by 11 because you're going to have three pages. Okay, so now you have a half of an inch on this side and a half of an inch on this side. If you want it to be four pages, just change your spine piece. Instead of two by six, make it two and a half by six. If you have a two and a half by six spine, then you can have four pages. Okay, but this album is going to be three pages. Okay, that's perfectly fine with me. All right, we're going to stand it up, making sure that our opening is at the top of each page here. Okay, so that is just your, you know, simple and easy, no hinge, top loading pocket. Okay, now we have three pages here we need to decorate. Um, we're going to add more flips and flaps and pockets and even to the front and the back. All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So now that you have your pages in, now what you're going to do is you're going to take, we're going to work on this first page here. Okay, you need a piece that is five and three quarters by five and three quarters. Okay, and you're going to score to half. It doesn't matter which side because it's five and three quarters all the way around. Okay. And for video purposes only, I'm going to use my ATG gun. And the reason why I'm using this is because when I told y'all not to glue these in, you know, upside down to make sure that your opening was at the top, well, guess what I did? I glued mine in upside down. So I had to tear them out and redo them. Okay, but that's fine because now I have my opening at the top. All right. So you're going to take your five and three quarters by five and three quarters, score to the half. Okay, you're going to add your adhesive. Okay, and we're going to line it up all the way on the left-hand side here, all the way on this top page. And another reason why I'm using my ATG gun is because I'm going to take these out and I'm going to punch them, um, punch out my edges here. So I am going to use a decorative punch for this album. This is the punch I'm going to use. It is from Martha Stewart, and I do not know the name of it. Okay. But that's the punch that I'm going to use. Alright, so we're going to take this flap, line it up on the left. Okay, when you have it nice and straight, press it down. Okay, so that's going to give you a flap. Alright, now you're going to open it up. And for the inside here, on the back of your flap, we're going to add a belly band. Okay, that belly band is going to be two and three quarters by five and three quarters. All right, now what you want to do is add your design paper and then add your belly band. Okay, you're going to add adhesive to the top and the bottom of your belly band. Okay, here at the top, here at the bottom. Okay, and you can place it wherever you want to. I'm going to, and again, I'm going to punch this out. I'm going to use my decorative punch for this. But I'm going to go, I'm going to try to go in the center. Okay. Then I'll press it down. So here we have a belly band on the back of our flap. Okay. Now we're going to close it up. So now we're at the back of page one. Okay. So this is the front of page one. You have a flap and a belly band. Now for the back of page one, which I'm calling page two, whenever I list the um, measurements in the description bar below, this is page two. Okay, you need a piece that is five and a quarter by eight and a half. On your eight and a half inch side, you're going to score to half and score it five and five eighths. Okay, your five eighths mark is going to be in between your five and three quarters and six. Okay, so it is right in between your five and three quarters and six. Okay, so now we're going to fold down and burnish okay and then for this flap here we're gonna fold it up so the little flap goes under the larger flap goes up okay so just fold down and burnish take your adhesive all right we're gonna go to the left hand side here not all the way at the top, not all the way at the bottom. We're going to go in the center. And I like to eyeball mine. But if you want to measure it, that's fine. Okay, so now you have a little flap and then your larger flap. Okay, so now for page three, 
you need two pieces that are two and a half by six and a quarter okay on your six and a quarter side you're going to score it a half all right so fold down and burnish on both of those okay now you're going to add your adhesive okay now what I like to do is I like to line mine up so I have adhesive on both of my little flaps but I'm gonna flip this one upside down so I can see about where I want to make this one okay so you're not going all the way to the edge of your paper I'm gonna go just a little bit over okay when you have it where you want it press it down all right, then you're going to take this flap, do the same thing, not all the way over at the edge. Okay, so here I have a little space here, a space in between here, and then a space here. So I'm not, you know, all the way at the edge of my page. Okay, so that's going to give us two flaps up. All right, now you're going to flip it over. So for page four, we're going to make a pocket so you need a piece that is five and three quarters by six and an eighth okay on your six and an eighth side you're going to score to half rotate score to half rotate score to half we're going to notch our corners okay now we're going to fold down and burnish each of our little score lines here okay and we're gonna add adhesive to all three flaps okay now we're gonna go all the way to the bottom and all the way to the left of this page here of page four okay and you have it where you want it press it down okay and that's going to give us a pocket here but you still have space here to add a photo as well okay now we're going to page five so what you need for page five is a piece that is five and a quarter by five and three quarters on your five and three quarter side you're going to score it a half okay you're going to fold down and burnish add your adhesive okay now we're going to take it and we're going to the right hand side of the page okay again not all the way at the top not all the way at the bottom all right when you have it where you want it press it down okay now we're gonna flip it over to page six okay so for page six you're gonna need two pieces that are three and a quarter by five and five eighths on your five and five eighths side you're gonna score it a half okay you're gonna do that for both of them so now you're gonna take fold down and burnish okay go ahead and add my adhesive to both of them okay you're gonna take your top flap we're gonna go about a quarter of an inch down from the top and all the way to the left okay so this is what you have so you go down about a quarter of an inch okay now we're gonna flip that one out we have our other little flap here we're gonna go about a quarter of an inch up from the left hand side make sure that you don't go all the way to the bottom here all the way to your um, to where your flap moves okay where you have it when you want where you have when <laughs> sorry when you have it where you want it press down and burnish okay so that's gonna give us a flap to the left and a flap to the right okay so now we're going to flip all these over and 
you're going to take a piece that is four and a quarter by 11. On your 11 inch side, you're going to score at five and a half. Okay. So you take, fold it up and burnish. Okay. And you need three of these. All right. And what I did, you don't have to do this part. This is totally optional, but this is what I did. Okay. I'm going to tuck it into my top. All right, let me set this up. Okay. Here's your top open pocket here. I'm going to take this and put it in. Okay. I'm going to do that to each one of them, each of my pages. Okay. And if you want to, you can make a um, flap for the front and the back of each page if you want to. But I only done them for the front of mine. Okay, so now this is what you have. Okay, so for page one, you're going to have a flip up, a flip out, and a belly band. Okay. And then for page two, you have a flip to the right. Your flip to the left. And then page three, you're going to have your flap here, which will flip up. Then you have your two smaller flaps that flip up. Okay. And you flip it over to page four. And you have your pocket here. Okay, then page five, you're going to have your flip up. And your flip to the right. Okay. And then page six, you have your flip to the left, flip to the right. But again, you can make these little flaps here for the back as well if you want to. I'm going to use them only on the front because this is going to be my closure for the, for the, each of the fronts. I'm going to add a magnet here and let it catch on to here. Okay, and I'm going to do that for each one of them. I'll have a magnet on this one on page two since I have two smaller flaps. I'm going to have two magnets. One on this side and one on this side. Okay. And then for page three, I'll have a magnet here and let it catch here. Okay, so that's our pages. Now, I'm going to do the front and the back the same way. So for the front, what we're going to have is a pocket and a flap. So you need a piece that is four and a quarter by six and three quarters. On your six and three quarter side, you're going to score to half, rotate, score to half, rotate, score to half. Okay, you're going to take and notch out your corners. Okay, and you're going to fold down and burnish each of your flaps. Okay, now I have a little tail here hanging. No big deal. Cut it off. Okay, now you're going to take your adhesive, add it to your flaps. And again, I'm going to use a decorative punch for mine. Okay. But now I'm going to take it. I'm going to kind of eyeball it. At the bottom here. When I have it where I want it. I'm going to place it down. Press it down and burnish. Okay. So now I'm not all the way to the edge here. So you're not all the way at the edge over here and you're not all the way at the edge over here so you still have plenty of you know space to close your album okay now the closure for this you need a piece that is four and three quarters by five and three quarters on your four and three quarter side you're going to score it a half okay so fold down and burnish okay now you take your adhesive all right, and now I'm going to go about the same distance as what I did the bottom here, up here at the top. Okay, so I'm going to line these up. All right, when you have it where you want it, press it down. Okay, so that gives us a flap and a pocket. Okay, so you still have plenty of space here for a photo and here as well. And then, you know, if you have other photos or other little goodies, you can tuck down in your pocket. And I'm going to do the same thing here in the back. Okay. 
So that's it. That's your album. Super cute, super simple, super quick. Quick. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. And thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye.